Uh, welcome back everyone. So I want to talk about lots of things that have come out and stuff. Kind of like the last video. First of all, I want to give a huge thanks to Kai's Dino Adventure and Gaiga and Rico 0404. But thank you to those two. They voted in my last video. I gave it kind of like a few days to see if anyone else wanted to vote, but it appears not. So yeah, links to their channels in the description and comments. Maybe the comments, because you know, my comment doesn't show up when I comment, so maybe, maybe not. But yeah, it'll still be in the description anyway. So the points were one for 1962, uh, four for 2004, one for 1954, one for 2014, one for 1998, one for 1964, one for 1955, two for 2003, two for 2001, and then one for 1994. So that means Final Wars took first place and then second place goes to both 2001 and then 2003. So yeah, again, links to their channels in the description. So going back to it, um, so a bunch of new Playmates figures were announced. Some new repaints of Playmates figures came out. Uh, I th I believe it's one for the Big Kong, and then it's another for the Skullcrawler and Warbat. Between Warbat, he got new more colorful colors that, although aren't accurate, do look nice and beautiful. And then we also got a Skullcrawler with a paint job similar to that of the Skullcrawlers from 2017's Kong Skull Island. As for Kong, he just looks a little more realistic and the paint actually looks way nicer. But I don't know if I'll get them all because, you know, I already said it last time, but Walmart's not getting anything and I'm not really going to order every single one online, so yeah. And then they also announced uh, Gorosaurus and Rodan from the Showa era. And those also look pretty good. I can't wait to get them if Walmart or Target even gets them in the first place. I heard they'll also be making the original King Kong, Mecha King Ghidorah, and then uh, Hedera, I believe. And that's unconfirmed, but from what I heard, those may be coming soon. But yeah, that's pretty awesome news. I mean, it's not awesome that my Walmart or Target aren't going to get them, but it's still pretty awesome to see and hear about them. And just today, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, some new Hasbro, uh, this is coming from Hasbro, but some new Ghostbusters figures were announced. Um, they look pretty good. We're getting the new gang, aka uh, teenagers, and then the old gang. Then we're getting a few ghosts. They look pretty nice. Uh, if I see them, may get them. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the same situation with Playmates. I don't know if I will get them. Um, but yeah, and that's besides figure news. As for trailer news, there's been um, trailers for Ghostbusters, you know, again, Ghostbusters. And then we got one for uh, Venom 2, you know, the one with Carnage. I gotta say, that Carnage trailer is awesome. It's no longer fan edit and stuff. And I gotta say, it's really badass. I really like the way they're going with it. Especially can't wait to see the fight because, you know, Carnage is a pretty brutal opponent. As for the Ghostbusters trailer, I again say it's pretty good. Now for custom news, I just wanted to show, uh, you know, I was going to show the city, but to be honest, I don't think it's quite ready yet. So we're not going to show that off, even though these next two customs aren't done anyway. So, you know, might as well show them anyway. Anyway, here's the Godzilla that I'm working on. I mean, obviously it's um, like 2021 Godzilla and it's just based off the NECA. I really want to be accurate with this, so I'm just taking my time with this, and I'm kind of like experimenting with colors, and so far I don't think it's looking too bad. Uh, you know, it's pretty good. I think I'm going to take more time on the body, then I'm going to paint the eyes, and then the mouth, and the teeth, and then the nails, and then we're done. But yeah, this is the custom. Again, we're not done with this yet, but I like how it's coming out so far. The only problem I'm having right now is dry brushing it. I feel it because I'm using this kind of grayish brown to dry. And it's a really perfect color, but the problem is applying it because I feel like I'm doing it too rough. I kind of want it to be slim but sharp. So I may just be continuing working on that instead of just, you know, saying it's done by now. So yeah, I think I'm going to take a little bit of more time with that for now. Not not forever, but for now. And then I just wanted to show this new critter I'm going to be making. Uh, I think it's pretty good so far, as you can see. It's got a big mouth, and it's going to be... 
want to say four to five inches big. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure because once you got the head size done, that pretty much tells you what the whole body and the size of the legs is going to be, how big the fur is and stuff. So for now, I'm just going to work on the head and then say, okay, this is how big we need to make the body. Uh, I'm just going to be making this one. Whether or not I'll be making more is unknown. It's It was a little bit hard to make this, you know, but who knows? I may make more, maybe not. That's for why I didn't upload the Gashapon video yesterday and the day before that is because in, honestly, I don't want to just put it in the next review. I think it's better that I just put it in this one since I was going to make this video anyway and it was a review on a bunch of stuff. So yeah, I think that's honestly perfect. And yeah, again, I just want to say thank you to the ones who voted. According to some media online, the GVK ones may release next week. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. So yeah, that was pretty much this video. See you all and bye bye.